The latest rumor on the streets is that Beyonce's mom, Tina Knowles, is throwing shade at Janet Jackson, and that has lots of us confused as hell. Janet Jackson is having a successful tour with Nelly in the opening act. And tonight, two music icons announcing a return to the stage in Atlanta for 2024. Janet Jackson, back this summer, her Together Again tour is the highest grossing tour of her career. Can you believe it? And this comes off of the success of the 2020. Yep, Janet is at the peak of her career, and people are even saying she's outdone her brother, the king of pop, from a vocal point of view. Now, Tina Knowles' friend Letty made an online comment about Janet's excessive ticket prices, especially those 2K plus meet and greet deals. Tina's friend who calls herself Let68 online tweeted, what a joke. They add $1,000 for a 15 second meet and greet again. No front row for fans unless you want to bend over so they can continue to rake in the cash. You want Beyonce prices, have real production, just disgusted. I'm not the only one. Oh, the DMs I'm getting. Way to thank your fans for years of support. Tina Knowles didn't post anything of this sort, but she did like Let 68's post. And people were quick to notice this. These were roughly the same people who heard rumors that Beyonce had a beef with Janet. So it made sense that her mom was in on it too. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, a few months back, Beyonce was asked about her musical influences. That's when she mentioned Michael Jackson, but not the rest of his siblings. She said, Michael was a genius. He was one of a kind. I don't think anyone can compare to him, not even his brothers and sisters. He was the only one who had that magic. Right after this, Janet let her know she was not happy with her comment, so she threw some shade on X. Some people need to learn their history before they open their mouth. The Jacksons are a legacy, not a competition. We all have our own talents and achievements. Don't come for us unless we send for you. Janet's icy comment went viral overnight and sparked a heated debate among fans of both singers. Some people sided with Beyonce, saying that she was just expressing her opinion and that she did not mean to offend anyone. After all, if Michael is her biggest Jackson influence, it's her right to say that. Others defended Janet, saying that Beyonce was being arrogant and rude and that she should respect her elders. Some even brought up the infamous Super Bowl incident, where Janet's wardrobe malfunction overshadowed Beyonce's performance with Destiny's Child. When the internet blew up after Ms. Tina Knowles liked, let's post, let wrote. And why do people keep trying to call out my friend Tina for liking my post? People on here making comments agreeing with me, but nobody calls them out. And let's not forget, Beyonce gives you almost three hours. Janet gives the minimum hour and a half. But Letty was only inciting a feud that, according to Tina, did not exist. You see, Ms. Tina Knowles took to social media shortly after Letty's second post, claiming her liking her friend's post was all an accident. Received a phone call that I'm trending for liking a post about ticket prices and an artist overcharging. First of all, being on the other side of that, I know better than anyone what a great production cost and that it's expensive. And I would never criticize another art artist, let alone Janet Jackson, who is the queen of production, and um, her family. Tina also captioned her video. I am saddened by this. Janet Jackson is an icon, and I would never question another artist. I took Destiny's Child to see Janet when they were 15 years old. They always looked up to her, and she opened doors for Beyonce. Why would I hate on her? I know now not to be in a rush and to be very careful. I learned my lesson, especially when I have so much going on. I just wanted to clarify, I do know that you can see people's likes, so I would be pretty dumb to do that. A follower reminded me of when I accidentally liked something that was derogatory about Beyonce, and all the beehive contacted me, and I went back and deleted it.
yeah. Janet Jackson was already a pop legend when Beyonce became known as a rising star. Beyonce looked up to Janet and Janet supported Beyonce's career. Beyonce's mom also had no reason to interfere with this. But y'all know how the media tends to make a small beef into a giant reality TV worthy feud. This seems to be what happened in this case. But yeah. This doesn't mean that Beyonce didn't manage to piss off Janet several times, like that L incident where she compared herself to the Jacksons in a nasty way. I grew up upper class, private school. My dad had a Jaguar. We're African American and we work together as a family, so people assume we're like the Jacksons, but I didn't have parents using me to get out of a bad situation. Reportedly, Janet was super upset about Beyonce's comments. Janet's friend spoke about it, saying Janet didn't understand why Beyonce had to mention the Jacksons at all. It was irrelevant to her story. She feels Beyonce went out of her way to tell the world she's from the upper class and the Jacksons were like a bunch of dirty gutter rats. Yeah, that's not cool, but bringing Tina to the middle of this on and off beef is not cool either. But do we believe that Tina liked her friend's post by accident? Or did she back down when she saw the huge reaction against her? What do y'all think? Leave a comment and before you go, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. All right?